So anytime you can find yourself in a meaningful storyline, you run with it. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time I think in a while for me that, uh, you know, I've been in so many great storylines, but the fans are really sinking their teeth into this one. Yeah. And you just run with it and you see how far you can take it. And it's exciting. It's fresh. It's new. And even though Becky and I have had the opportunity to wrestle each other this time, the dynamic is different, which makes it even more exciting. But it hasn't been hard because you also are, were really, really close friends. No, I think that makes you hit your friends harder. So, <laughs> okay. No, no, I mean that in a sense. Yeah. I mean, uh, Becky and I came up through NXT together. So in terms of how we view how things should be in the ring and psychology and, uh, I know what she does well. She knows what I do well because we've talked about it in the car. So no, it just, I, I think it makes for a better, uh, overall presentation. Yeah. Cause you know, she mentioned how in your rides in the car, you guys spoke about, she was honest with you and told you that there's so many things that you've been able to be on the cover of, you know, so many magazines, the cover of, or, or just, you know, a lot of press and this and that, and that, she wanted that. She wanted that. And, and you understood that is what she said. Mm -hmm. But now that she really has just gone all out for it. And the thing is she, uh, you know, supposed to be a heel on the show, but she's getting cheered and sometimes you're getting booed. I mean, how is that making you feel? Honestly, yeah. if I was getting a reaction, we'd have a problem. And that's what this is all about. Whether you're being cheered or booed, you're here to make the audience react. And that's how I look at it. I don't look at it as a negative. I look at it as the fans are invested in a story.